Okay, here's the current status of my little garage arcade. I'm up to seven cabinets around the edge of the garage. Got them semi-grouped together. I start off with my two 25-inch monitor games. 720, of course, the main focus of my collection. Uh, I restored it, uh, gosh, coming up on eight or nine years ago. So I actually have another one in storage that I'm waiting to restore because I want to do it again now that I've learned a lot more about restoring games. have an unrestored Smash TV that I got from XD on KLOV. Uh, but it's in pretty good shape. Uh, works perfectly. You can see it's on total carnage right now. I have just a little button right on the front of the cab which you push and it swaps over to Smash TV. That works with a Mike's Arcade double JAMA adapter. Just have both boards in the inside the cabinet. It works great. Uh, next up I have my two vector games together. A Star Wars that's in pretty good shape and a Quantum which I pretty much fully restored and assembled. Um, the Star Wars works good. They both have Amplifone monitors and I've got them dialed in pretty well. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, I've just got a little button here to switch over to Empire Strikes Back with the Mark Spath created uh, kit which allows you to switch between games. Actually that was on Empire Strikes Back. Here's Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. All right, and the Quantum, really the only modification on there was the trackball added a color changing um, custom blue trackball. So it's actually a blue ball and then it has LEDs that switch between blue, yellow, and green underneath it. It's pretty subtle, but it kind of matches the Quantum color scheme a little bit. Then I've got kind of the, I guess like the Tron corner. I've got a black light on the wall that lights up some of the interior art on the Tron. And then the discs of Tron next to it. The Tron was fully restored with a set of Phoenix side art and um, plastics, so it looks very good, very happy with it. Um, discs of Tron still need some work. The cabinet's in very good shape. I've done as much as I can do, um, but I'm waiting for reproduction plastic and a control panel overlay. This plastic I just lit up with highlighters and paper, um, but uh, I'd like to get a, a reproduced one, of course. Um, I just have a credit button on the front of this. And it actually does have the speech modification in it so you can be taunted by Sark from time to time. I think he says something right when the game starts. Greetings. There he is. Master Control Program has chosen you to serve on the game grid. And then my latest addition is uh, just a Pac-Man cabinet that I've uh, I'm in the process of restoring. I've got a 60 in one board in it and a custom control panel overlay so you can keep the Pac-Man theme but have a two and a quarter inch trackball and three buttons and a controller. Um, obviously still need to do the side and front art which I'll be doing with a set of stencils. So uh, pretty happy with the arcade right now. Um, gonna have to do some more rearranging to fit the next game in here whatever that ends up being.